Hey, Dave Knight here at 123 daytradecom Thanks for watching. Thank you for being here. Today is another day. Thursday. What is today? February 17th, 2022. 30-minute day trading. That's the idea that we're working on right now. We're in step one at top step. Uh, I've got two days in uh, on this particular combine that I'm in. If I can find my... There we go. So this is after two days in. Winning trade percentage, average losing trade, average winning trade. Uh, had two decent days. What do we got going on here? We have 13.10 average win uh, side and 129 average loss right now. That's pretty good. That's what I like to see. Uh, obviously, a nice curve. Let's see here what we got. We don't have a losing day yet. Knock on wood. It says that we are 1727 from 3000. And we're at the high on our account. All right. These bars are a little bit too thick for me. That's. Um, Look at that. You can move them around with. This is the CTS platform that I'm using. It's called T4. So if you go in with your right click mouse button, you can actually, you know, smash it, widen it, right click, auto, auto this button right here will auto, auto uh, focus it in. You can smash it together look at a few days together actually what are we looking at that's about one day worth of ticks this is a 123 chart that I'm using right now so every bar printed is has 123 trades in it roughly and then you see it print and it's a little bit the di di uh, different from Say the minute this goes on the minute so every uh, five minutes every one minute so like a one minute chart and then you have your tick charts which I really like tick charts but I'm not against having my um, five minute charts off the screen so I mean you can make this work with two uh, monitors basically and almost every computer system that you buy at this point is ready for a dual so adding an extra monitor. Here's your one minute chart, right? Five minute. That's a trend line that we put on the charts a few days ago. If you've been following me all week long, or I think maybe into last week, I can't remember when I put it on. So we're actually trading. Well, where did it go? Just disappeared. I must have hit it. Now, one of the cool things about um, this platform, you got rid of something that you want back. You don't save. You can um, exit out of the program. That's my youngest son, by the way. And it should, as long as I didn't save, it should come in. Just re-log in. I'm doing right now. If I can get the right freaking password in. My it's my that's my youngest son, the sophomore, sophomore picture, 45. And I should have that back on there again. This saved it a day. That was the last time I had it. Go to 15 minute. Hopefully that uh, here it is. We just took it off again. Ah, oh well.
basically in here and get it to go where I want it. But all right, so let's just get rid of that. Let's get rid of some of the other things we have here. We got a the, 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 the properties. Fibonacci extension. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of the Fibonacci retracement. Really don't have a lot going on today, it looks like. This is a 369, so we're, with not knowing where we're going, S1 looks like we might make a move. I don't know. Let's take a look at overall and see what we've done. So here's the uh, beginning of the day down. I don't think we've went above pivot all day today. No, so we've been trading inside pivot and S1 for the whole session. Actually, a, an inside day, I guess you could call it right now. Really no, uh, really nothing out there that's telling me all right, so let's look at volume because right now I don't see anything that's allowing me to feel confident on one side or the other. So let's look at our volume numbers and see what we see. Right now we don't have anything above 500 that I can see. All right, so we have this is our first one back here. Okay, let's go back to got a lot of movement at the 8 o'clock mark. Look at this right here. First 30 minutes of trading was very active. Eight to 8.30. Let's get a horizontal line on that so you can see what I'm talking about. Or a vertical line. The 8 o'clock mark. And then the first 5 minutes of trading. in the first 30 minutes. Not trend line, I want um, another vertical line at a date 30 mark. Can't even see it yet, hold on. Here it is. Right there, so here's your first, it's a lot of bars in the first 30 minutes. Get rid of that one. That's where that one that's shouldn't have been on there. More than you can count. So volatility is up. That's what I mean by volatility. When you're looking at 30 minute window and you can't count the bars, you got a lot of volatility. For instance, now we look back at where we're trading now in the last half hour. Let's do a 30 minute window here. Uh, let's go 12 to 12.30, for instance. There's 12. 12.30. You can actually count the bars. Your volatility is low. So that's a great measurement. The point being, this is wrong. So there's your first 30 minutes, right? Volatility is high. You can't count the bars. I mean, you can physically count them, but with an eyeball, it's going to take you a minute or two to count how many trade bars. So if you're, if, for instance, if you're looking at a 30 minute window on charts this is the same equivalent of the 30 minutes that we went through so 8 to 8 30 right there but just one bar is what I'm getting at you got one bar red bar and now you see that same time period and and, and relates to tick charts
This is why I like tick charts. This is basically why I'm talking to you about tick charts right now. Why I like them, what I like about it. Yeah, it's showing the same thing. It's just it's breaking it out a little bit better so that you can see it overall. So there's your 30 minute window right now. And you could physically count that within five seconds, maybe 10 seconds. How many bars? 7, 8, 10, 15, 20, 25, about 28 bars roughly, give or take. And the other one was probably 100 plus. We have three attempts to break down here. I want to get in below this. All right, why aren't my lines showing up? Oh, 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 oh. Shit. I'm in the April. I don't want to be in that one. I need to be in April. We need to clear this out. Let's flatten this trade out. I'm in the wrong month. All right, so we took a little bit of a hit there. Still want to be in. Making a play for the S1 line into close. Volatility looks a little bit lower today into the last 30 minutes. All right, so we want to measure, uh, we want to measure the I guess we're going to use this 9007. Let's look at one more thing here. The high of the day was 9151. The low is 8883. How far have we? All right, so we're at 1060. Looks like a 9001. I'll be able to add the trade in. That's at 30. Actually, it looks like 9003. I might be able to add one in. Trying to eventually it'll it'll let it in. Here we go. So we're all in. We got five contracts in. To make it to even, we need eighty. Was that eighty nine, eighty four? And we're believing the market's going to come down a little bit here. So what we want to do? Is grab those two. We want to go one and a half p from here now. Ninety twenty four. One and a half p from there is eighty nine forty three. If we can get the whole move. Whole enchilada, right? Let's see if we got five on the other side. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, it's all there. Three and two, that looks good. Can actually move that out of the way now. And wait. Okay, that looks good. Wouldn't mind grabbing those three. Once we go positive.
So 87. We're going to take our we're going to take our lumps on the trade today now. Looking for one quick move down or get out. Hundred and ten at the eighty nine eighty mark. They see it too. You know they see it. Hundred and fifteen. I could have traded today a hell of a lot better. Cleared out my trades. Not putting myself at risk this risking the account. Not not too smart today. These are the things that you have to improve upon when you're looking at. You can't do what I did in the funded account. I mean, you're going to get locked out of the account when you lose a thousand. One more to go to 80. There we go. Let's grab it. Let's grab it while it's there. Grab it while it's there. Be thankful that we made a little bit of money today. All right. Flatten everything out. We should be out of all trades now. We ended up making 90 bucks less than 50. Not a good day. Did, did not do this properly today. But we finished positive. I could do a hell of a lot better than that. Hopefully you learned something though along the way, what not to do. And but uh, I I looked at this whole move as a false breakout. I was wrong, by the way. Where are my pivot points at? Oh, pivot was way up there. Is that right? 91.88. Yep, that's right. We were closer to S2 that or uh, S1. That's why I wanted to go after it. What was I wrong? All right. So, woulda, shoulda, coulda. Shoulda stayed to maybe no more than uh, well. Step point just gives you the ability to trade five. It, it, it's so challenging to, to not want to trade five contracts and get yourself to a positive day. This happens. I've been able to get out of step one 80, 90 percent of the time just by being smart when you're adding your contracts. Step two, a lot more discipline. You'll see that in my step two once I get there. Um, and then obviously when I get to the, the pro funded account, then you... Uh, You'll see me definitely with a lot more discipline in my trading, not adding contracts, taking a 10 tick hit and being out, you know, and stuff like that. Not adding into a losing position. You get to play around in step one is what I'm getting at. So step one's kind of your, your sandbox, your playground. So there's 89, there's the way I was thinking, 89.71, 89.70, that would run that line. Hmm. So we had six trades overall today. Not the smartest of my trading, but not the most stupidest as well. Let's print the spreadsheet off. There's 89.70. So we definitely hit one of the targets that we're looking for. That's one key move from 90.24. Knowing what you want to get out of a market is extremely important. Know the average movement of a move on a volatility scale. That's where you see the one, two, three charts of 369. Me going after a 369 uh, using GANs, using uh, Nicholas Tesla. I talked about that years ago. And just the culmination of my trading experience. To add contracts where I believe I could add 
and get out at break even. So we're at um, day three of step one. We made a whole whopping minus nine, plus nine, minus five. We made plus four overall today. 40 less five trades. We had a, kind of a break even day today. It says we're at 51,746. And we were at uh, 51,727 to start the day. So we're somewhere in, in there. 41,746, less commission costs, whatnot. So we have plus four on six trades. Definitely have traded a hell of a lot better than this. Step one is is like I said, it's a sandbox. It's the I, I've treated step one as a sandbox for a long time right now to try different ideas out. Knowing that I'm not risking. I'm not risking a 1,000, right? I'm only risking the hundred dollar, the 97 or the 150 or whatever your cost is. At um, right now, I'm grandfathered in at 97 off the the November thing that I bought. So when you look for deals at Top Step, that's what you want. You want to find a deal. I think it's 165 maybe now. What is the combine cost? Maybe if it's 165, I'm not I'm not as willing to. But reset's 97 when you do reset. I can't remember. I think I think it's 165 now, isn't it? If you don't have a discount. One sixty five a month. And if you look for a discount, you can get that for 40% off sometimes you only have to pay 99 for your valuation so be impatient waiting for them to give a sell um, that's what you want to do five contracts to start with step one like I talked about the sandbox right they you can get away with a weekly loss limit. You can get away with a lot of stuff. Follow the scaling plan in step two. That's new. That's new too. Best day below 40% of total profits made. Oh, that's in step two. Just keep adding more rules onto it. You know, it might be, a, I, you know, I like Top Step. That's the one that I know the most of. And they keep adding rules. Just keep making money. Don't worry about the rules as well, I always used to say. And I'm glad I got out. Now look. Gave the opportunity to get in, get out, or out. Nothing's moving. Let's double check the other one, make sure that's out. Yeah, one by one sell. Five by five right there. Let's make sure you push these buttons. Save your spreadsheet. Save your day. A lot of days that this works right. The bottom line, there's a lot of days that you can get out at break even if you're smart. I should have not added. Should have probably took a, a loss on one contract around two or three hundred dollars today, and and moved on to next trading day. Uh, definitely would have done that in step two. I wouldn't have added. Uh, uh, Step two, you're just gonna have to wait to watch me trade step two. Step one is 
is my sandbox. It's my um, just have fun with it, right? I'm not worried about um, the reset. I know every month they're going to rebuild me. It's part of my uh, cost of doing business right now because to me, I'd rather spend even $165 right now on the 50K as opposed to open up a five or $10,000 account in futures and blowing it promptly within a certain period of time. When I want to, my investment strategy is longer term, right? So um, it, it, through Robinhood, Acorns, uh, my Charles Schwab account, um, uh, crypto, cryptocurrencies that I'm involved in, all that's more longer term. Day trading is my playground. So um, the best playground that I found to play in is Top Step. I know there's other ones out there. Uh, there's five other ones that I know of right off the top of my head, but my chosen playground is still Top Step because it's still the one that offers the trading platform I like the best in this market, and that's the uh, CTS T4. Now, if you like Ninja Trade or some of these others, and a lot of other things are open to you, rhythmic trading, whatnot, a lot of these other ones are open to you if you like some of the other things that are out there. Me personally, I like trading off of. Uh, uh, CTS T4 because that's what I learned on when I first started with Top Step and now oh, wow shit it's been way too long <laughs> 2004 September 2014 to now so uh, but my majority of money is not made in the day trading realm don't get me wrong I, I don't make I don't I just make pennies on the dollar as a day trader I make most of my money out the curve swing trading positional trading uh, Long-term trading, most of my money still made way out there. Insurance sales, you name it, uh, all that stuff. Uh, residential uh, plan with apartment rehab, stuff like that. All the other stuff is where my money's made. This is my playground. Day trading, still my playground. To be able to turn, you know, what's that goal right now? Turn $97 investment or 165, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I always say 97 into. 10,000 because that was the original, um, was it resets 99, I think now. So turning 99, turning 165 into 10,000. That's the overall goal right now in a 30 day span of time, moving out of step one, out of step two, getting into a um, pro funded account or whatever you want to get into at that point, taking that money and going to 10,000. That's the overall goal. Have fun with step one. Don't get too stressed out in step one. Um, Trust me, spending $165 a month is better than losing $10,000 in a couple trading days. I've done it before. I've done it all in, in day trading. I've made, I made over six figures as a day trader. I've lost $10,000 in, in minutes as a day trader. I've done all of that. Still, at this point in time, I still um, use use day use day trading use these funded programs you know I, if you don't like top stuff there's other ones out there use these funded programs to get you to your your where you want to be uh, use that fixed cost of business right in other words use that fixed cost of business to get you from where you want to be step one step two i got a phone call i got to be on here and next 10 minutes so i'm going to go um i'm going to cut and splice some of this video out so you don't have to sit and see all the dead time um, but I, at least that's what up my plan is right now because right now this video is an hour and a five that's way too long Dave Knight here from 123daytrade.com thanks for watching thanks for being here